Hello seekers, welcome to Punis Astrology, your one-stop astro channel, continuing with the Moon Transit series. On the midnight of 16th, Moon will make its move in the sign of Leo zodiac sign and this is the Moon crossing the Gandanta of Ashlesha and Magha. That means, immediately on that particular day, on 16th, don't make any major decisions. Because on that day, at least on the first half, till the afternoon, for that 12 hour, Moon will be influenced by the Gandanta energy. Although Moon will be quickly moving out of Gandanta, but because this is mind and because this is emotions, you should be careful. Till 18th evening, Moon will be in the Leo zodiac sign. But something is happening the moment Moon is crossing. See, one side, Moon is making its entry into a Surya zodiac, Leo zodiac sign, run by, uh, controlled by Surya, the Sun. And on the other hand, the same Sun is crossing the boundary of Aquarius and Pisces and it is moving into Pisces. And Sun is still maintaining 8th house from the Moon. And when Moon goes into the house of Sun, the house lord itself goes 8th from the Moon. And that is extremely essential to understand. This transit is unique. This two and a half day can be used to know secrets. If you want to do some sadhana, if you want to know the secrets of something, if you are interested in doing deep research, if you really want to resolve your problems and you know you need to know the way out, this is the time. Why? See, first of all, mind goes in Leo, it gets influenced by the sun. But where is sun? In the 8th house. Now you will say 8th house is the house where moon does not like the sun. Yes, moon don't like 8th house at all. Any planet in 8th house, moon thinks the planet is enemy. But when the house lord goes eighth from itself, that is different. That is where the mind is influenced by the eighth house. And eighth house means research, deep analysis, knowing the secrets, finding insurance of life, safeguarding yourself and knowing the intentions of other people. Also eighth house is what other are, people are talking about you. So don't get influenced what people has to say. Rather figure out what can make you a better person? Sun is the light. You will get to know the secrets. You will get to know the knowledge. If you really want to resolve some issue, this is the time. And not only that, 8th Lord Jupiter will be in the 7th house. And directly it will be aspecting the moon along with Mercury, which is the 11th house for Leo. It's a very, very good time to plan serious investments. It's a very good time to buy some stocks or invest into market carefully obviously it's a very very good time to take a very calculated and learned decision that can secure your life in the future that can put you into a position where you will lead life happily and independently it's also a good time to take some independent financial and independent personal decisions if you really want and if you feel stuck in your life Jupiter, the 8th Lord and the 5th Lord is aspecting the moon. So you will have a lot of interest into taking risk. But don't take risk. Don't take financial risk. Jupiter Mercury from the 7th house also means that some, some natural guidance will come. You will get, you need to believe your intuition and gut feeling. Also, don't let your spouse's advice go ignored. Focus on the spouse's advice doesn't matter whether your spouse is an expert or not. Just an advice, maybe a proper discussion can give you some real good hints. Also, this is the time when you can take help from the learned professional. Jupiter Mercury is Gyan and data, knowledge as well as data. Combined, it becomes power. It becomes a powerhouse that can actually put you into the right path. Business-wise, this is the right time to grow or at least plan for your growth. Change your hierarchy. From a career perspective, there's a good time to talk to your boss. Focus on your gains. How can you invest that will result you more on your gains, especially from education perspective? People who want to join in an MBA course, if you really want, if you're thinking, students who are thinking about that can plan. Because see, moon transit means everything that can affect your mind. So whatever I'm talking, I'm talking with respect to your thoughts. 
Nothing is in real right now. That will happen according to your horoscope. But moon transits changes the thought pattern. It, it plants the seed of idea. And that results into the tree that can either give you the fruits of good karma or bad karma depending, depending upon what you are trying to plant. This also means that joining a satsang, listening good music, listening to discourses, listening to pravachan is going to be very much helpful if you are distressed and if you are in some sort of emotional problem. There will be work-life imbalance because if moon is in Leo, Rahu and Ketu will be in, in 4th and the 10th house and therefore you need to maintain that work-life balance and in case of any doubt, don't keep the thought to yourself but rather discuss with someone. When you see moon in Leo, you have Jupiter 7th from itself. So it is the moon and Jupiter axis and it is the Rahu Ketu axis. So the axis of Rahu Ketu is now getting bisected by Jupiter moon axis and that is the good thing. Because you can actually counter all the imbalances in your life, all the impurities of life by following the path of Dharma. And by deep analysis, deep research, because when moon is in the sign of Leo, Surya, sun will be in Purva Bhadrapada, but of Pisces and Uttra Bhadrapada Nakshatra. Both are the transcendental nakshatra that takes you away from, from a problem, from a, from a disease, from troubles. And with sun, it is the Jivatma. Prayer is very much essential. Love and devotion is needed. Hard work is needed. And you, your preparedness, your readiness to walk the path is the time that is asking. Saturn, Venus and Mars will be in the 6th house. You should love your Prarabdha. You should be ready to be flexible and your mind should be prepared that fine, whatever is thrown on to me, I will make the best use of it. And that's the power of Leo because Leo talks about confidence. But wait, this can also rattle your emotions, especially the troubles, the, the problems that come from the marriage and the in-laws. So you need also, you need to also maintain that posture and reduce the level of insecurities. Mars, Venus and Saturn in the 6th house also indicates that you can put your money in buying a home, buying a land, buying a property. But whatever you do, you need to do with proper guidance. So always take a second opinion, just in case you get some extra knowledge. Overall, this is a power pack transit. This is a transit that influences your mind, that influences your soul to move into the right direction, to take the right decision. And for all the transits that has happened for the moon, this transit is more focused on loving the prarabdha, absorbing and accepting, and then learning the core reason why you are living a life the way you are living a life. It's like, if I'm poor, if I'm in problem, first of all, I need to understand why I'm in such a problem. And then accepting that, fine, if I'm in such a problem, what else can I do? This kind of adjustment is needed. And Jupiter and Mercury from the 7th will guide this moon. And if you will be following this path, you will see that you will be getting that light, that hope that will bring you out of the darkness. Chant the mantra or the shloka. Asato ma sadgamaya, tamaso ma jyotirgamaya, mrityur ma amritam gamaya, om shantihi, shantihi, shantihi. So that was the take on Moon Transit in the sign of Leo. I hope you like this video. And if you like, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. Share the video among family and friends. Spread the word of Vedic Astrology. For consultations, you can drop me an email. Follow me on Instagram and Telegram for more updates. We'll meet you in the next video. Till then, this is your host, Puneet. Namaste.